They benefited from the misfortunes of Missouri and West Virginia, but no matter how LSU and Ohio State wound up in the All-State BCS National Championship game, the winner will go down in history as the 2007 National Champion, no matter what the public may think. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwitz, glad to be with you on CBSSports.com, breaking down the January 7th game from the Superdome in New Orleans. LSU looking to win the title in the same venue that it did in the 2003 season when the Tigers beat down Oklahoma. And the Buckeyes back for the second straight year but hoping for results that look more like the one from the 2002 season when they knocked off Miami for the national title. And as always, for our inside view, we bring in Spencer Tillman from Houston. And Spence, there was no doubt that Ohio State belonged to the national championship game last season, but when it was said and done, they were blown out by Florida. This year, a lot of people said that, that Ohio State didn't deserve to be there, that LSU, how did they move up from 7th to 2nd in the BCS just with the SEC championship win? But no matter how you look at it, they're playing for a national championship game and the rest of the teams in the country aren't. Well, you're right, but I think that sentiment of pessimism is justified because but for the unlikely two losses that opened the door for Ohio State to back into this national title game, uh, they wouldn't be there. And I don't think they would deserve to be there. And I still don't think they deserve to be there, but that's another discussion. They are there, and they're going to be played for the national title. And I think the key for them has got to be able to come out and keep this LSU team who will be healthy for the first time in a long time uh, in a box. And that's going to be very difficult to do because Gary Crote is going to have the full complement of his offensive uh, skill set available to him. You know, with Trenton Holiday will be healthy. Of course, uh, the quarterback is going to be healthy. All of their key players, Doucette, the receiver is going to be healthy. So I think that that's going to be the big challenge for Ohio State, Jason. Well, the other challenge, Spence, is that the whole week leading up to the game, the whole two weeks, the whole 51 days that they have off, is that they're going to hear that last year they played an SEC yeah. team and got blown out. How much of that experience do you think will play in this game? Well, it's huge, and that's a great point because, you know, I spent some time with James Lernitis, their outstanding linebacker, at the Nagurski Awards, and he talked about the fact that that is all behind them, that 41-14 to 14 drubbing they experienced last year to Florida in the national title game. But don't buy that for a moment because at the compound there at Buckeye Stadium, if you go into that little area where you have to punch in the code, it's 41-14. That's the code. <laughs> and ironically, that's the score of that drubbing that took place last year. That's been in their mind, so they have not put that behind them. They they want to certainly correct what happened last year, again, against another SEC team. So they're thinking about it. The question is whether or not they can do anything about it. You can't handle the fact that you got 51-day layoff, and maybe Jim Tressel changes some things up there, uh, but I don't think that they can do anything about the speed factor. Uh, can't replace that, that, that lack of talent in one year. It's Ooh. going to be very difficult to do that. And that's exactly what the problem was, Lester Spence. The defense was not apt to, to keep up with the speed of Florida or the attack mm -hmm. that the Gators put out there. But LSU's offense is different. It, it, is the scheme that the Tigers run and Gary Croton run uh, more uh, beneficial, but does it fit Ohio State's defense better? <laughs> Yeah, I think it does fit Ohio State's defense much better, and I think you've locked in into the key of this game. Gary Croden, the, def the offensive coordinator for an LSU, has got to spread things out. Jim Tressel is a small ball specialist like Les Miles is a small ball uh, specialist. Les Miles can't fall in that trap of playing Big Ten style ball against one of the best in the business at doing it. They'll get beat. Jim Tressel would like nothing better than to win a 14-12 type football game. But you can't afford to do that if you're LSU. If Les Miles takes that route, they'll come out and be disappointed in what for me and viewing them this year should be a season of destiny after what he's gone through. They don't have the distraction of the Michigan uh, opportunity hailing over their heads. So that's a done deal. We'll see if they can maximize this opportunity, Jason. And how ironic, Spencer, is it that you've got the guy that Michigan wanted playing in the national yeah. championship game against the guy that they wanted him to beat in Jim Tressel in Ohio <laughs> State. You know, you, you talked about uh, Ohio State's defense and what LSU's offense should do. What about the other side of the ball? How will Ohio State's offense handle the strength and the speed of Glenn Dorsey, the best defensive player in the country, maybe the number one overall pick, Ollie Highsmith in a great linebacking core. How does Ohio State's offense deal with that? Well, it's going to be tough, and whether or not you think he deserves it, Stelz, their safety is an All-American. I mean, that's outstanding. So they've got a lot of stud talent across the board on the defensive side of things. And I think that the way that you handle it is to run right at them. You've got to stay comfortable in the pocket and do what you do best, and that's get the ball to Wells, your outstanding runner, and try to keep them off the football field as much as you possibly can. I'm talking about the outstanding offense of LSU. And if you can do that, you've got a shot at winning. Well, last time we saw Chris Wells, he ran for more yards against Michigan than any other back in Ohio State yeah. history. Can he do that in this game? Can Chris Wells have the type of game that Ohio State needs for them to win? 
Well, they're going to have to get the ball upfield. And first of all, the way that you succeed in the running game is to have some type of vertical attack. And if you can't establish that, I guarantee you with Dorsey and the rest of those bunch, I'm talking about a healthy Dorsey, and the rest of that bunch you've just mentioned, uh, it's going to be very difficult to stop them. Spence, we've broken down basically every single part of this game, and of course there's so much more to break down because, it, like you said, 51 days between Ohio State's last game to the national championship <laughs> game and, and, and four or five days between the last game, uh, BCS game, to the national championship game. Is there one other part here that we're leaving out? Mm -hmm. Talk to me. No, I'm asking you, is there a part we're leaving oh, out? Oh, is there one other part? I don't think there is. Uh, we've talked about everything that matters, the matchups. We <laughs> talked about whether or not LSU would be able to get all their guys back healthy. Uh, there's nothing missing. I mean, it's just play the game, and that's really the key. And I think LSU is going to come away with a tremendous victory, uh, confirming for the second year in a row that the SEC is an outstanding conference and that uh, Ohio State is just a tick behind in terms of matching that speed. All right, well, we'll see if that all plays out, and we'll see uh, how it works out, and if Ohio State can keep up with the speed of LSU when the strength and the talent that they have down there in Baton Rouge and on top of it the home field advantage that LSU will have in the Superdome that, that maybe maybe that's the part we didn't <laughs> talk about Spence we will see you on how it all breaks down and of course we'll see how it all plays out we'll talk to you soon my friend all right Jason thanks a lot folks it is the 10th edition of the BCS national championship game three times the SEC has come away victorious with the national championship the Big Ten just once, but again, that was Ohio State. It kicks off January 7th at 8 p.m. Eastern. For more, including who the experts pick, you saw who Spencer picked, but what about the experts at CBSSports.com? Be sure to check it out on the website. For Spencer Tillman, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care.